if we wanted this to come out of the second DVI or second output on our Mac, we would route these layers to two. And we would go back into our desktop view. We would set two to mix layers with effect, and that would come out of the other output. Now this is a very quick, very simple way of using Catalyst. But Catalyst is very, very much cleverer than that. You'll notice that there are more than two of these buttons here. In fact, there are 16 of them. And that's because in Catalyst we can introduce something that's called mixers. And what a mix allows us to do is to have several different types of setup on an output. So let's have a look at that now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump back into desktop view and we're going to turn these into no output. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our mix options window. So you can see here we've got mixers 1 to 16 down the left hand side in the HUD. So we'll go to mix options and in this window, we've got our mix that we're going to work on. So we're going to work on mix one. And we'll just turn the GUI on and drag on so that we can play with it. And we're going to view it on screen one, which is this one that we're working on here. So we'll just put him over here and we'll make him a bit bigger. We can set the size and the position here and in the mix options window as well. And I'm also going to do the same for mix two. I'm going to put him down there, say. And I might do the same for three. And I might do the same for four. So there we have four mixers. Now, like the layers, the mixers also have an order of hierarchy. So mix 1 sits at the bottom, and mix 16 sits at the top. And you'll see that they've just flashed red, and that's because we don't have our Catalyst dongle sitting inside the machine. It's just a, uh, a copyright protection going on there. Now we get some various options within this mix options window. The big thing and the big advantage to just sending the video directly out the output is that we can choose a mix type. So for mix one, I'm going to choose a keystone type. Now for those of you working in live entertainment and theatre, you'll mostly be using Catalyst with projectors. And this is really, really handy because it allows us a global keystone over that mix. So generally we're, we're projecting from the ceiling somewhere. So let's just set up a real basic keystoning like that. Now you can see I'm doing this by dragging it on screen, but of course these, these points might be somewhere on stage. So we're going to go to the options tab in the mix window, mix options window, and we can simply move that around by gra grabbing that and dragging there. So we've got our, we've got a keystone mix. We can offset the mix, uh, left or right or up or down, and we can select a background color for the mix. So we're, I'm just going to choose transparent and you'll see what I mean because I'm also going to put mix 2 in the center of that. And if I deroute mix 2 and I set mix 2 
So being a keystone mix, we can see that we can now see th straight through mix two. Now this is really handy because what you might have is a situation where you have a moving piece of scenery. And let's say you have a truck that moves from upstage to downstage. It has two positions that we project in, but we do it from the same projector. Uh, we would set one mix up with one particular type of keystoning for the upstage position, and we would set another mix up with a different type of keystoning for the second position. So let's make mix two exactly the same size as mix one. There we go. And let's give mix two a different keystone. So it might be something more like this. And mix one because it's uh, going to be doing the upstage position, the truck will be further away from us. So we might just choose to scale that keystoning down a bit. And there we go. So there's our two positions. So what we might have is. That's our image in the downstage position, and this is our image in the upstage position. Very quick, very simple to do. And we might uh, decide that actually we, we like the clouds so much, and uh, actual fact, let's not have them in a, the keystone setting. But let's also send the clouds out to mix three because mix three is doing something a bit different. It might be a, a, a display, maybe it's a plasma screen somewhere uh, on stage or auditorium or something. Uh, and I'm going to add another layer to this. And I'm going to choose a different piece of content. Let's choose something from Luna Blue. Uh, cloudy Day, let's have that. And we're going to send that out to Mix 4. And there it is. Now I'm going to play that looping forward. I can adjust its speed here. At the moment it's playing at 100%. I would like, really like that to be much faster. I'm going to put that at 200%. I can set its in frame here and its out frame. I actually only want to play it from there to there and we see it playing. 